Hey, 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 happy Monday. It's Beth Canals from That's a Spade Copywriting Services. And I am here with your Monday Minute to give you something to think about as you move through your week. And today I wanna to talk about the definition of familiar. So I've had a few conversations recently with people around the fact that we want our content to be familiar to our clients, that we want them to see it again and again in different ways, different platforms on our website, in our email newsletters, you know, wherever they see us. We want our language to kind of have this familiar thread that runs through our content. So let's talk about that for a second. You are not the only person who's trying to accomplish this, right? Your competitors are also trying to accomplish this. So if you write general umbrella copy about what you do, let's say you're a business strategist and you're writing about the things generally that you do, so isn't your competitor. So if you want to stand out in that familiar ground on social media where everybody else is doing the same thing, then you have to make your, you know, unique content familiar to people, right? You have to make it so that people recognize you when they see that content over and over again. And I think now they say you have to touch somebody seven or nine times before they consider working with you or committing to um, an offer that you have or something like that. So I want you to think for a second when you're watching TV, there are a ton of insurance commercials. Think about this. We know who Jake from State Farm is. We know Emu the Limu from Liberty Mutual. And we know the farmer's jingle, right? Just like if you hear on the radio something, we know like the cars for kids jingle. They play it over and over again. We know it, it's embedded, and we don't get it confused with anybody else's. And so that's individual familiarity. And so that's what you're striving for when you're writing is that individual familiarity. So if you're a business strategist and you help people set goals and make more money, how do you do that? What's different about your process? What's your perspective and why do you feel that way? You know, those are the things that you want to really stand out in your content, right? If you have a tagline, if there's something you say again and again, like when I come on here every Monday and I say, this is your Monday minute, something to think about for uh, the week moving forward. So, you know, what is it that when people see it or hear it, they're going to say, oh, I know who that is. That's, you know, Jane or John Smith, you know, they're going to know right away instead of going, oh, I think I met that person once, but oh, is it this person who's a coach or is it that person who's a coach? You want them immediately to know who you are. So I want you to think about that when you're writing your stuff and you're putting it out there. Uh, I'd love to talk more about it. Feel free to get on my calendar and uh, we can have a chat about any of those things. So I hope you have a great week and I will see you next week.